What is going on guys, DBG here and today we're going to be talking about the new free cards in NBA 2K20 for my team lads, including the free 40,000 points LeBron James. So before we get on, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, join at 25k as soon as possible, but yeah, this is interesting. As you can see, we have got a bunch of free pink diamonds that are probably going to be pretty easy to get. Um... And three free Galaxy Opals. I'm just going to say this right now. LeBron is not exceptionally good, but obviously he is pretty good. So anyway, first of all, we're looking at Jabari Smith Jr. So Jabari Smith comes with Jabari Smith on quick. This is the same as his normal card. And it's a pretty nice release. If you guys remember this guy right here when he was free. Wow, he's still 11,200. Wait, does that mean that if he went down, does that mean the Corver went down in price? No, he's still 14k. It's mad that season one rubies are kind of like capped at their low. Like day one out this a 28k. Either way, um, this is not the card we're looking for. Now, he's 611, can play power forward. He's got no flaws. Honestly, he doesn't have any flaws, which is a big thing. Like defensively, he doesn't come with glove, fast feet. I don't know if he'll come with right to gripper, but he comes with like post lockdown gold anchor. He's got decent, like all around good defensive stats. He's going to shoot the ball well. He's actually a very, very good power forward here. Like, like he's going to be free, but he's top 15 power forward in the game. And he's one of these guys that, like, he will compete with the best of the best at that position. Obviously not with the 100 overalls, but... No, nah, he'll compete with the Opals. And that's all you kind of need. You just need as many cards as possible that are attainable that can compete with the Opals. We had Josh Hart as well. 6'4 with a 6'8 wingspan. So he's not got the greatest height, but his stats are nice. But the problem when it comes to Josh Hart is I don't really like the release. Normal pro dribble style is all right. Normal laner is pretty good. Okay, so he comes with range. It's every defensive badge, at least on gold. I hope he gets a movable enforcer, which is one you obviously can't really tell. Um, but if he's got like half anchor, half glove, half clamps, half box out beast. 90 steel, 90 block, 93 lateral. I know he's 6'4", but he can, again, he can hold his own. If you like the release, he can hold his own. He's good. Oh, he's definitely good. Oh, is he the best card in the world? No. But, like, the big thing is that these pink dimes are coming with 18, 19 off, off rip, which is actually not a bad amount, like, even compar compared to the Opals. The problem with Colin Sexton, if I'm not mistaken, he gets Colin Sexton on slow. No, Colin Sexton on normal. Why didn't Colin Sexton... Okay, so they changed it. They changed it. They didn't give him the release on slow. Uh, look, he's as good as he can make a 60-point card. Little dribble style is good. Fundamental layup pack. I don't really know what that does. Kyrie behind the back isn't the greatest, to be fair. Uh, but he's got 94 lateral, 94 steel. Bad interior, though. And he obviously doesn't come... Oh, he comes a gold anchor. Okay, all gold defensive badges. Look, he's not going to be very good. He's definitely the worst of the players I've seen so far. But he's not terrible. Like, if you're a Jazz fan, if you're a Colin Sexton fan, I can't even remember where he played in college. Like, the only thing I can remember with him in college is, like, the time he went, was it three on five to end the game? And he nearly won it by himself. But, um, yeah, no, Colin Sexton's good. I like, I like this card. I genuinely like this card. I don't think he's anything, like, absolutely spectacular, but I like the card. Um, he's going to be good. Then we've got Denny Avdia, point guard. I like that. 6'9", point guard for free. 86 speed, 86 acceleration, 93 ball. He's got, defensively is where Denny Avdia normally excels. He doesn't have menace. You're probably not going to see the guy get a movable enforcer. But yeah, he's got 85 steel, 85 block, 87 lateral. Like So his stats are good. Like... He's, he's decent at everything. None of his stats are that bad. Like, if you were seeing stats in the 70s, I'd be worried. But, like, mid-80s is fine for all the speed because he's a 6'9 point guard. Like, if he was a shooting guard, I'd say, oh, maybe not great. But he's a 6'9 point guard. So, um, his jumper's pretty good. And also, I have a feeling Ben Simmons is coming on Friday. Like, if this guy's free, Ben Simmons is probably coming on Friday. Um, But, yeah, normal dribble styles, it's not good but it's so much better like 
other than basic and Embiid, I don't think there's a bad dribble style this year. But this will be the next. Other than Levine, Levine's isn't great, but it will be like the next worst. Norm will be the next worst. Levine's probably the next worst after Embiid and basic, and a Norm will be after that. But he's got pro behind the back, which is actually pretty good. If you do want to spam that, the normal leaner, he's going to shoot the ball well. Now, this is one of your top six or seven point guards in the game. He honestly is. Like, this guy is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. And my goat's in the game. My goat. If you guys don't know about Dean Wade, he's still the face on... Like, I still have him in my intro for streams. My countdown. This guy here. Like, we got him a fan favorites card back in the day. We really did. We got the man a fan favorites card. So let's scroll all the way back. As you can see, this dude was the best diamond or the best uh, bronze ever. I'm not going to lie. Like, he could shoot and he could dunk. He's the best bronze ever. And then we got this dude right here. And not only that, we got him all the way up to a pink diamond where he was an absolute beast. But, uh, yeah, that's a bad one. Now, Dean Wade, he's uh, got 93 ball. 90 driving dunk, 94 three ball. Problem is Joel and B dribble style. But I still think you can use him even with that. It all just depends on the release. Like, he's got weight on quick. Historically, he's had a good release. Jump shot's fire, apparently. Like, if the jump shot's good, he'll do. He'll do. He'll do a job. He's 6'9". All the shooting badges you need. Got, all, got every defensive badge. He's got not great playmaking. But look, that's what he... He's 6'9 with 7 foot wingspan. He's going to be your just spot up. He's going to be your spot-up small forward. And he plays good defense. The stats leave a little bit to be desired, but still. We've got every single badge on, like, gold. It's going to be a very nice card. Genuinely is going to be a nice card. And then we get use of Nurkic. If you guys know about Nurkic, man, Nurkic can shoot. Nurkic's release is real good this year. Like, this guy could shoot. 83 ball, he shot the lights out. I'd say not even that, this card could shoot. Like, the amount of guys that lit me up, I was about to say, it was like, oh, it was his lower, no, it was 80. The amount of the guys that have lit me up with this Nurkic is scary. But, like, Nurkic has got 86 speed, 7 foot, 7 2 wings, but I can play power. This is one of the best power forwards in the game, by the way. <laughs> like, that's the crazy thing. It's like, Nurkic is one of the best power forwards in the game. Like, uh, anchor, box, up, piece, brick wall, you can just give the guy clamps. Everybody definitely has, like, bronze, silver, gold clamps just sitting there. He's 86 lateral quick, so 7 foot tall, with a really good release. And um, a good three ball. Like I know he's he's definitely lacking in badges, but he I still think I still think what he does in his size, he's not. I'm not when I say one of the best. Like he's probably like between seven and twelve in the rankings. But like he's free. You cannot get much better than that for free. Like that is absolutely absolutely insane, lads. I can't believe they didn't advertise this yesterday. The amount of hype that this would have brought into the game. But we've got Tyrese Maxi next. And he comes with Maxi on very quick with the Kyrie dribble style. I wonder what he comes with with this card here. It's Maxi on normal, isn't it? Maxi on normal with Trey. He's got Maxi on normal, Kyrie Irving. Pro behind the back. Pro two leaner. All right. They kind of gassed this guy up. Like, he's as good as he can make a Tyrese Maxi. Um, if it's Pax... I mean, he's unauctionable. He's not packs. Or he's unsellable. Like, no. Tyrese Maxi, it's rewards. These guys are rewards. But you've got 96 lateral, 95 driving, 96 ball handle. A lot of good badges. Um, Doesn't come with movable on force here. Comes with 94 feet, right stick, ripper, clamps, and glove. Look, this is as good as you can make a Tyrese Maxi. That's all I can say. He's as good as you can make a Maxi. I do want to see what the what badges these guys got in next gen. He gets a movable enforcer. No. So for some reason, you can see the next gen ones on some cards, but not on others. But uh, yeah, he's really good. So Shangun, 91 speed. Oh my God, Shangun stats are good. 6'11", 7'2", wingspan. Got anchor, box of his glove, interceptor. No ankle braces. Um, No 94 feet, but Hall of Fame movable enforcer. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shangun's him. <laughs> I'll bring Shangun up very quick. Kobe dribble style. The hardened shuffle. Is he over 250? No, he's not. He's 243 pounds, which means he can do the hardened shuffle. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is one of the best cards in the game. I'm sorry.
He's, he's actually a beast. He's actually a beast. Like, it's on very... Shane Goon on very quick, like, unbelievable stats. What a card. What a card, though. Um, And then we've got the LeBron fella. Uh, He's just Diamond LeBron. 15 huffs. Is this just... They're trolling us, right? This is just Diamond LeBron. Because I know for a fact he comes at LeBron on normal. Man, this is Diamond LeBron. He's he's pretty good. He is pretty good, don't get me wrong, but like... He's Diamond LeBron. <laughs> His stats are fine. His stats are real good. His badges aren't. You know what? He comes a gold removal enforcer. Gold range. Bronze agent threes. Um You know what? He at least gets he gets 20 halves on next gen, which is actually fine, I guess. Uh but he's alright. He's alright. Um if you're looking for a free LeBron James, it's great. It's actually great that he's in the game. Like as far as cards go, the way I would rank the cards is the best is Shangun. Second best, I would say, is Denny Avdia. Third best is LeBron. Um I'd probably go Shangun first, Denny, LeBron, Nurkic, no, Nurkic, Jabari, Dean Wade, Maxi, Hart, Sexton. But the fact is, Sexton's not even terrible, and I have him as the worst. But uh, yeah, honestly, a really, 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 really good batch of cards um, with LeBron James moments as the headliner. Fair play 2K. I didn't think you had it in you to give us something good.